very much, and we welcome you to Dayton, where the Hoops Marathon on ESPN2 continues. Another great game. We have, uh, here's some of what you have missed. I know things were good in West Virginia, but pretty good here as well as Roberts has heated up the late. Yeah, makes tough shots. They wanted to get help to go off. They wanted to get the pit big guys in foul trouble. They did it. And now Roberts with a beautiful spin move. Brian Roberts off of the ball screen. He's been dominant coming off that ball screen so many times in this in the last bucket before the timeout. Sam Young got caught looking for the ball screen. Allen Iverson would not do well in this game as Roberts steps back. Oh, and Tiago oh, Cordero comes back on as Charles Little sits down. This is one of the great college basketball venues in the nation. UD Arena here at Dayton. And they have been packing this place since the North fans in here 90 minutes before tip as Young gets loose inside and throws it down. Second street. Hobbs inside the Hillsman. The oh, pass. Gets and lays it in. And how about the Panthers give it to assist already as well as the uh, 16 points? Needs to get it going. Launches this. with two. Oh, 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 oh. Just like it was drawn up, boys. Undefeated teams left in the nation. That's Brian Roberts to end the half. Dayton goes into the locker room up 45-33. We're back with more at the half after this. Pittman on, or Dayton on a 28-15 run. Bl uh, Blair is back in the game now. Uh-oh. And the alley-oop. What a start to the second half. Marcus Johnson. Fields to the cut and scores with the left hand. What the foul. And Young sets Fields up with five to shoot. Fields a step back three. Knocks it down. in transition. The alley-oop just missing the finish with Sam Young. Yet his legs cut out from under him and no foul was called. Avoiding him down the offensive. Young's jumper. Both go. Offensive rebound by Blair. Reverses it home. Pretty close. Blair. again. Young's been back door. A foul call. That will be number four. DeJuan Blair picks up his fourth personal foul and he will be headed to the bench for quite some time. And you talked about much more value valuable to us on the floor even if you give up a dunk exactly let the dunk go and that was a good call Johnson with four personal fouls, and now their leader in point guard, LeVance Fields, holding his left foot. A post-Christmas season to forget right now for Pitt. They lose Mike Cook before Christmas to a season-ending knee injury. They come on the road and play a terrific Dayton team that runs a fire, runs a fever in the first half. Blair in foul trouble, and now their, their go-to guy, their leader, their guy with the big four zone, LeVance Fields, he, he earned his ankle bat on that, on that drive. And interestingly enough, a beautiful, beautiful move by Johnson, which gives him points number 12 and 13. So he's been uh, a big factor as well. And Fields is leaving, uh, leaving the facility here. He's going to go into the locker room. Well, you hate to see that. Such a tough play. Full tonight from Dayton. Little thanks at home. Interesting. Six we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't go to Uzbekistan, play European League. Benjamin knocks it down. Look, coach, and they all have very soft movies. There you go. My point is <laughs> Roberts for three. Got it. Oh. Eggs from the wing. Knocked away from Blair. And it goes to Dayton. Wow, it looked like it was knocked out of bounds. And a technical foul has been called against Jamie Dixon. Dixon went down the sideline to argue the call. Sideline. First, let's see if the call is any good. As the ball, I actually think it was a good call. I actually think it was Dayton's ball. I thought Johnson knocked it out. No? Oh, look, he can go either way. Inside, Hillsman gets around left. Well, if he's like me, he overachieved. From the corner, Roberts knocks down another triple. Oh, my goodness, they're going crazy. 
continues to prove that offensive game. Next year is a real scoring threat for Cincinnati. Roberts hits again. Oh, he's got 29, and he's 5 of 8 from three-point land. I thought you'd be at home with your hymn book. <laughs> Turns it over. Young out in front of the field. And a little showtime trailing 80 to 54. The crowd <laughs> is going to get up. <laughs> Stephen Thomas, a freshman from Indianapolis, gets the honor of dribbling out the final seconds here at Dayton at UD Arena. A historic win for the Flyers. Ryan Burr in the studio.